Hey guys, Steve Girardi here. Today I want to share with you a ukulele that I bought uh, off of eBay. Uh, this is a baritone scale ukulele that came uh, from the factory with uh, GCEA strings on it. At the moment I have it tuned down to DGBE, uh, but I thought I'd share it with you and kind of give you a review of this instrument. Uh, this is a uh, K-Mice ukulele. I got this off eBay for $65 and change, I believe, which included the ukulele, a basic gig bag, and tuner. Um, and I should say that this is the, the second ukulele I've gotten for them because the first one had some issues, which I'll talk about, and so they sent me another one when I pointed those issues out to them. But let me kind of go over this one here. Uh, this is a uh, solid spruce top. It has a uh, sort of a faux abalone rosette. The sides here, I believe, are uh, mahogany, and they're really quite pretty, I think. Um, and it also has some uh, some trim here, I believe, is also a some kind of mahogany. Uh, I can probably put some information in the uh, in the uh, notes on this. And I'm not sure if you can tell from this, but this top is not a one-piece top. It is a book-matched uh, two-piece top, but it's really quite nicely done. Uh, the fretboards and uh, uh, bridge look like they're uh, rosewood. And you can see the top, the uh, headstock here has a bit of a veneer on it. Just sort of basic tuners there, nothing fancy going on. Uh, but again, for $65, uh, it, I thought it was pretty nice. In particular, I really like this dark uh, back and sides on it. I think it's really, really pretty. Uh, this particular one, when it came, um, was a replacement for an earlier one that I got. And the earlier one I got, when I looked at it closely, I mean, at first glance, it looked gorgeous. Uh, when I looked at it really closely, looking for potential flaws, I found that there were some issues with the inlaid rosette, and I'll try to put some, some pictures up to kind of show those issues. The bottom line is when the finish, some of the inlays weren't quite filled, and there were like little depressions, and there were some other areas that just weren't well polished. Um, also, uh, I looked at the bridge and I could see that there was a space or a gap under the corners of the bridge and I could actually slide pieces of paper under the corners of the bridge and I'll try to put those pictures up for you also. Also, the first one that came, it did not have the strap bu buttons on it and the strap buttons were supposed to be part of the ukulele. Uh, when it came, it came in a box that was a really flimsy box and it kind of been kind of crushed at a couple places. I was really concerned that it damaged the ukulele. It didn't, but it was a very flimsy box and it did not have the K-Mice label on it. Um, anyway, so I pointed these issues out to the folks at K-Mice and they wanted to have a satisfied customer and so they sent me a replacement. Um, and I should say that even with the issues that were wrong with the one that they originally sent me, um, it was well worth the money of $65. I mean, even with those few flaws, I mean, for that price, you don't expect perfect. So this one came and it did not have the same kinds of issues uh, with the rosette, um, but it does have a few sort of minor finish flaws there's, or there. And also, I don't know if you can see it, there are some slight sort of issues here with the finish. They're not quite shiny. It's like they're slightly scratched or something. Um, and also up here at the uh, headstock, I can feel the grain um, right here where the neck kind of bends at that scarf joint. So I'm not sure if they just didn't get enough of the gloss finish on there or what. Um, but, um, but in spite of those issues, uh, this is well worth the money, and again, really, really pretty. A few minor finish issues, and customer service was great on this. Um, if this had been 
Alonic High and it showed up with those, you would not be happy. Um, but this doesn't cost the same as Alonic High costs. Um, you know, this is, you know, just a fraction of that. Uh, and so for the value here, uh, really well worth it. Um, I forgot to mention here that the, the frets are really smooth because there's actually some trim on there. It's the same dark wood kind of a trim um, that makes it all very, very smooth. So ultimately, I'm very, very happy with this. Um, again, the original one had some issues. They fixed it uh, right away. And so I have no complaints. I mean, they have, were really, really responsive. Uh, let me go ahead and um, oh, I should also mention that in addition to the position markers on the face, it also has position markers on the side. But let me go ahead and um, uh, try to play this a little bit. I should say that I am a novice player. Um, and so uh, I'm just doing this to help you see just kind of what it sounds like. So here we go. Again, so K my Spiritone ukulele, um, not expensive, uh, while some minor issues, well worth the money. Um, I highly recommend them, so give them a try. Oh, I should say also, again, I mentioned that these were DGBE tuned at the moment. They were GCEA strings, so this is a re-entrant D. I may try to tune it up and uh, and give another sound sample. So. For the money, it's a nice little ukulele. Thanks for watching.